don't tell anyone but I'm not a trained <laughs> conductor but I'm just like just using I'm just winging it basically I'm it. just winging it in Finland and I'm getting away with it so it's quite fun <laughs> pretend you're doing like a woman stereotype you know when they're like oh I'm a lady <laughs> How's it going, Tanya? Good. How are you? I am really well. Good. Tell us, where are we right now? So we are in an area called Lapin Lappi. Yes. And our first stop is a rock <laughs> called Tanya's Rock. Yes. So did you name it after yourself? No. Or did some... <laughs> Finland named it. Okay. Follow me. Oh, here we go. So what do you usually do on Tanya's Rock? What does Tanya do on Tanya's Rock? This. <laughs> it's, um, it's a good mindfulness rock. Oh, if I'm that's ever feeling stressed or anxious or want to remember the simple things in life. Have you ever come here and found other people here? If I do, I kick them off. <laughs> they sit on this bit, especially around that side, and drink their beers. And they I, I rarely find rock. people on the rock. If you have seen an earlier episode of the Walk and Talk, you will have seen that we came here with Juliet, and this place was closed. And guess what? It's, it's still closed. closed. <laughs> oh. So, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No! So, Tanya, how long have you been in Finland? I moved here in August 2019. So that makes it, what, a year and a half? Yeah. Something like that. And you told me that you came to Finland because you were trying to discover simplicity. Not in those words, but that, that was the meaning that I took. Like, why did you come to Finland? What were you seeking in Finland? <laughs> what was I seeking? Um, so I'm from London and I was a high school teacher there. And I love London. I'm born and bred, so it is really close to my heart, but it's busy and there's lots of people and it gets quite stressful. Um, when you're in it, yes. it's, everything's very stressful. And, and both me and my partner, we decided to move to Finland because of its simplicity in a way. And I don't know, like its appreciation for the good things in life. Um, so yeah, that's why we moved here. And I think in general, it's important to get off the treadmill that you're used to being on to gain a new perspective. Um, and that's what we've done. And I imagine you were quite young because you're still very young. Yeah. But I imagine you must have been really young to be a high school teacher. High school, yeah. so we're talking like 15, 16 year olds. Well, I taught 11 to 18 year olds. Oh my gosh. Um, and I was really young. And I actually became head of performing arts when I was like 24. Okay. Um, you probably didn't look that different to the students. No, I didn't. And my <laughs> colleagues were all older than me. Yeah. All the people I was line managing. Wow. Um, it was an amazing experience. I learned a lot about leadership and um, how to manage people. But um, I was very young. And I feel like I need to like live my youth a bit again. Like mm -hmm. remember how old I am. And, When you meet someone new and they ask you, what do you do? How do you answer? Good question. That's my opening line. Okay. Good question. And then they go, oh, thank you. Go, oh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm like, I'll tell you more. Um, so my working world is split in half. Half of it is working for like a language school in Helsinki. And I teach English and I train teachers and I train like provide resources for parents and then the other half is my toy me 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 um entrepreneurial venture yeah um 
I kind of started, I hate saying I started a company. I have such imposter syndrome, but I started a company called Tanya Vocals. And it's basically all of my creative juices <laughs> in one place. Awesome. Um, I teach singing online and face-to-face. -face. Awesome. More now online. Yeah. Um, to adults and children, actually. I conduct a couple of choirs. Well, now it's only one, but I used to do two. I produce music for a singer-songwriter. I do English voiceovers for <laughs> companies. So, so that's amazing. And do you go through all this with this person who has just asked you, so what do you do? Or do you pick and choose? It depends. If I've had a few drinks, I can't remember them all. <laughs> I just I like, can't I use I my voice in different ways. I love that. Tanya vocals, like, go to my website. What do you love the most? Do you love the music side, the voiceover side, or the teaching side, or the conducting? <laughs> yeah. Um, the music side. Creating music or performing? Can I say both? Am I allowed? Yeah. Both. Although leading choirs just brings me so much joy. Yeah. Like that collective singing and leading it and like I'm not a trained conductor don't tell anyone but I'm not a trained <laughs> conductor but I'm just like just using I'm just winging it basically love I'm it. just winging it in Finland and I'm getting away with it so it's quite fun love it <laughs> yeah but music's my my heart mm. um, voiceover is interesting and I've never done it before moving here um, I'm I just, here if you're an English person native English speaker you can get voiceover work yeah, it seems that way. But, um, you get more if you speak well, like you, so... The Queen's English. Yes. Yeah. Um, when I first moved here, I was told that my voice was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and um, Finns could understand it. And obviously in London, I just sound like everyone else. So yeah. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so that's how I got started. So for you, you just moved here like a year ago and you didn't have any trouble finding work as a... Do you speak Finnish? A. <laughs> um, no. So you haven't had any trouble as a um, non-Finnish speaker? It hasn't been like super smooth, easy. Has it not? No, especially with my business side. Um, the English speaking language school that I work at I was there within a week and that was because... A week after landing here? Yeah. Wow. But that was just luck. Like my um, estate aide, my landlady, who was showing us this apartment. No like, way. What do you do? I love your voice. Oh, my friend owns this company. No way. Um, she can get you a job. That's awesome. And I was looking for work. So I did that really full time at the beginning. I was yeah. teaching in 12 different schools a week. and. And then with the voiceover, I was like, oh, I'm gonna try and start my own company. Um, and I did that at, like in October of last year. And I was building it up and it was going well. And then COVID hit and I literally just lost everything overnight. Like all of my, all of my work was gone overnight. What do you mean, clients? Just everything because everything required face-to-face Online singing lessons ah. didn't exist as a concept like before COVID happened. Right. Or maybe it did, but it was very rare. And I was so distressed. It's ah. like it's taken me like months to build up a kind of tiny yeah. network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now everything's gone because no way are people going to come to my house and have their singing lessons. Yeah. Damn. Um, and then I kind of had to start again. But in a way, I wouldn't have nearly as many online lessons if it wasn't for COVID because people need that escape every week. Yeah. Um, and they love it. So in a way it's done. It, it worked out really well in the end. Okay. It's 
We're about to see another rock. Okay. We haven't named it yet. <laughs> Maybe we can call it Tan's Rock. So we're going from Tanya's rock to another rock yet to be named. What's special about this rock? So this is where all the cool kids hang out. Um, <laughs> and it's quite high up. And it's easy to get a really nice view. Okay, cool. Tell me a little bit more about the singing. I'm really interested. So yeah. is it mostly young people that you teach? Um, it's mostly, mostly adults. Oh. So the choir, I do one choir and I founded it. It was called the English Popular Music Choir. You founded a choir? Yeah, I like, started Tanya, it you've achieved so much in a year than most people have in a much longer period of time. Yeah, I mean... It's quite cool. <laughs> I think it's my like Londoner bolshiness. Yeah. Like I'm here and I'm gonna start right, a let's choir. Do it. And they were like, all right. <laughs> um, it's this secret pathway here. Okay. I call it secret, but. Oh, well, it is because I've never been here. Yeah. Follow me. When you teach online, yeah. so it's basically you sitting there and there's somebody else on the other end of the video call and you're given, are you singing something together? Are you giving exercises? Yeah, so it's a one-to-one -one private lesson. So I've always you... wondered what happens in a singing lesson. Oh, I can give you one. Could you? Come on, yeah. Give me like a beginner's, I mean, how, how does it start? How does it go? Do you warm up the voice? Yes, yeah, so we start with warm-ups and exercises like okay. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, and my poor boyfriend and dog are <laughs> subject to. Is uh, this it? Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. So, you come, how often do you come to this rock and what do you do here? So, this is more like a summer rock. <laughs> um, because Tanya's rock is more all year round. Yeah, it's more like, oh, yeah, exactly. And we come here with our little picnic blanket and we sip our sparkling wine or beers. We might have some nibbles and we look out and watch the sunset. Um, and in the summer that doesn't happen until quite late in the day. And there we watch all the kind of, I don't know what you call that, water skiing? I think so. Um, <laughs> and we watch them and pass judgment. <laughs> Do you hold up scorecards? Yeah. At least mentally. And we're like, yeah. Yeah, I've been I done do it like so that. much better. Yeah. yeah. All right, singing lesson. What Ready? happens? Should we do one now? Shall we? Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. Give, so give me like a basic um, singing lesson. Yeah. Or whatever you would do to to a complete beginner. What what happens? Okay. So it's all about your body working. Huh. It's not just voice. Okay. So you need to stand in a correct way. Feet slightly apart, knees slightly bent. Wait, so what about people who sit and sing? I guess nobody's... I mean, like the ballads. Anyway, I'm not going to interrupt. Just continue. I mean, you can, but... I'm imagining the like 90s the... boy bands sitting on the stools I'll make together. Love to you. You're right. If you, you sitting and singing sing. those. I mean, they can. <laughs> but this is like ultimate body position okay, for fine. singing. Here we go. And then you just need to be relaxed pelvis like in the middle not pelvis you don't want to be sticking your bum out or forward okay and just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth yeah nice then we start with a few of those breathing exercises yeah and then we'll start a nice one to start with is just a yawn so you can't do this because you're holding a camera but you kind of stretch up and you're like oh, like that and you go from really high to really low and that's a nice way to wake up your voice what do Okay, but guys can't go that well. Oh, yeah. Does that work? Yeah, okay. nice. Or you could have gone into your falsetto, which is like. I can't reach up the, there. Give me a tip on reaching the falsetto. So, pretend you're doing like a woman stereotype. You know, when they're like, Ooh, I'm a lady. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm a lady. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's your falsetto. Okay. Because you're going out of your range. Yes. 
All right, so the yawning, mm -hmm. the falsetto warm up. Is there anything else you can leave me with? So repeat after me. Okay. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lip, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Is this a singing exercise or is this a vocal warm up? Is this like a voiceover? This is usually a vocal warm up. Um, to practice diction, which is uh, pronouncing the words clearly. Okay. Um, and and it's quite fun. Okay. So you would go up the scale and go the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth. Oh. Okay. We'll do it together. Okay. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. You're good. Yeah. Do people can't do that? Do I get a certificate from Tanya's vocals? Yeah. The introductory tongue twister. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I wanted you to like mess up. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, Tanya vocals. Thank you so much for an awesome walk and talk. Thank you.